Well, good morning, everyone. And thank you so much for joining us this morning to celebrate the life and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. It's an honor for me to stand here this morning alongside such a distinguished head table. And, and I must say, Dr. Carew, I'm looking forward to hearing your remarks, um, your record and your and your passion and your commitment to this cause dates back many, many years, uh, despite the fact that you don't look very old at all. I would also like this morning for all of us to join in remembering another great Massachusetts public servant and civil rights leader, former U.S. Senator Edward Brooke. Now, I think Dr. King remains a larger-than-life figure for many of us, a powerful speaker, an amazing leader, and a man of peace, faith, and strength. And while there are many magnificent moments throughout his all-too-brief life and career, I've always thought his letter from Birmingham jail was among his finest hours. Thank you. Written in response to white church leaders in the South who questioned some of the tactics of his civil rights movement, it's a powerful statement about the rationale for his work, and it contains many declarations and observations that would become the hallmark of his time and his life. Among them, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We all have work to do. Let's remember that and strive to honor Dr. King by keeping his words and his faith in our hearts. Now, I have a proclamation today, which I'll be giving to Reverend Monroe Williams in a minute here. And it has a number of whereas is in it. I'm not going to go through all of them, although every word here has meaning. Um, but I do want to quote from the I Have a Dream speech because it remains to this day, I think, one of the truly great moments, certainly in, in his life, but especially in the life and times of this country. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, honored, privileged to be here to proclaim that on behalf of all the citizens of the Commonwealth of this great state. Thank you.